Hey there, Rubber Dub Subs, it's Black Metal Werewolf making a brand new video for this week. And this week's video is a bit of a story time video, because the other day something absolutely adorable happened to me and was also really, really metal. So I thought I would just share this uh, really cute story with you guys and uh, then give my opinions on about the whole thing afterwards. So this is my story about passing on the heavy metal torch. So the other day was a Monday like any other. I got up early, jumped in the shower, grabbed something to eat, watched a little bit of TV before heading out to catch my bus. Nothing out of the ordinary. So the bus I usually take in the morning is usually pretty packed. A lot of people going to school and going to work. A lot of teenagers, a lot of little kids, a lot of adults. Age groups of everybody, you know? So uh, thankfully this morning the entire back row of the bus was empty, so I was able to grab my seat, sit down, and blast my music into my skull like I always do. A couple stops later, there are these two little kids that always get on the bus. And uh, a little boy and a little girl, so a little girl sat somewhere, who knows. And the little boy came all the way to the back, and I was sitting in one corner, and he sat in the other corner. So, okay, no big deal, whatever. So as the bus was going, the little kid moved a seat over, and then another seat over, and then another one, until he was right beside me. I thought that was kind of weird, but I wasn't going to say anything, just let it slide, no big deal. So then the kids are like leaning towards me. I could see it out of the corner of my eye that he was putting his head towards me. And I was kind of worried that he was falling asleep and that he was going to use me as a pillow or something. But I wasn't going to say anything. I wasn't going to touch him. Just leave it be. So after the song uh, I was listening to ended, I started going through my phone to look for something else to listen to. And I was going to listen to some Rush. And then the little kid tapped me on the finger. And he couldn't have been more than seven years old. And I looked over at him and I said, yes. And he said, what are you listening to? I was a little taken aback. I'm like, uh, excuse me? And he's like, well, I've seen you on the bus a lot, and I hear your music all the time. I want to know what you're listening to. I said, oh, well, I just listened to the band Immortal, but now I'm about to listen to the band Rush. And then he said, is it okay if I listen to it too? And so I thought, eh, what the hell? There's no harm in it. So I took an earphone out, and I handed it to him, and I turned on the song The Trees, and we listened to it together. And uh, as soon as I gave it to him, his face lit right up. The, it looked like someone just gave him a million bucks, you know? The kid couldn't have been happier, even if you tried. So after that, the kid started asking me questions. He started saying, oh, why do, why do you have long hair? Oh, well, I like having long hair. I think it looks good on me. Oh, well, aren't boys not supposed to have long hair? And I told him that, you know, boys are allowed to have any type of hair they want. And I doubt his parents are going to appreciate me saying that based on the buzz cut the kid had. And, uh... And then he started asking me questions about my vest. You know, you know who is that? Oh, that's Judas Priest. And then he wanted to listen to Judas Priest. So I put on the song Leather Rebel, and he really, really enjoyed that. And then he started you know, pointing at other ones. You know, what does that say? What is this one? What, what does that mean? And so I was telling him these bands, and then he wanted to see the patches on the back. So I turned over, and uh, he pointed out the Metallica one, and he wanted to listen to Metallica. So I uh, turned on the song The Unforgiven 2, and once again, another song that just blew the kid right away. He seemed so much to be enjoying this, and I'm really glad he did. And then, you know, I was telling him, you know, okay, maybe we have one more time for one more song because my, my stop is soon. And he's like, okay, well, show me one more song. So I put on the song Buried Alive by Venom. That seemed to scare him a little bit, but I'm like, oh, don't worry. It's really cool music. It's cool music. So he, uh, he powered through it like a little trooper, you know. And then uh, as I was getting to my bus stop, you know, I pulled the string and I said, you know, sorry, kid, I got to go. Uh, I get up and I start heading towards the door on the bus. And I looked behind me and I said, hey, kid. And I just raised my horns like this to him. And then he smiled back and he raised his little hand with his little fingers and gave me the horns back. And then I you know, got off the bus and went on my merry way. So it really put me in a great mood for the rest of the day. And it really made me think that I think I may have made an impact on a little kid's life. I don't want to sound full of myself or anything, but I remember when I was a little kid my older brothers and my dad would listen to heavy metal music. And when I finally found out about it, it really changed my life and how amazing it was to hear something so extreme that I've never experienced before. And I very well could have done that for that little kid. For all I know, I could have set that kid on a journey of long hair, loud music, and a shit ton of concerts. And I really, really hope I did. I want, because I never have a little brother. I was the youngest of three boys, so I didn't get really to uh, personally hand that down to somebody. So it makes me feel pretty good that I did. And uh, I hope I see this little kid on the bus again, because I'm kind of considering maybe grabbing like a Master of Puppets or Ride the Lightning and giving it to him so he can take it home and listen to it, you know? 
once again, I don't know if that would get me into any trouble with his parents or shit like that. Because I, I don't want to get this kid into trouble and I don't want to get into shit myself. But I would really like to pass it down to somebody. And that's the thing that I really, really enjoy about this YouTube channel thing is that I can uh, expose people to so many different things. I've gotten so many comments of people uh, telling me, you know, uh, your recommendation this week was awesome. I really like that band. I'm going to buy all their shit now. And a lot of times on Instagram, people will send me pictures saying, yeah, I saw your video on your battle vest and your horror vest, and I started making mine. What do you think of it? Or where do you get your patches? I want to start my own. That's probably the most rewarding part. That and when Google pays me. That's a really rewarding part too. But overall, the best part of it is when I know that I could possibly make an impact on someone's life and ex uh, expose them to something they may have never experienced before in their life. Uh, but I want you guys to tell me, how did you guys originally get into heavy metal? Who showed it to you? Did you happen upon a website or your parents or a sibling or a schoolmate or something? I want you to tell me. I also want you to tell me if you guys ever got the chance to show that to somebody, a sibling or a uh, a schoolmate or something like that. I want you guys to let me know about that because I'd love to hear about that. And very soon I will be doing a video about how I personally got into heavy metal. So definitely stay tuned for that. So like my past videos, I either do an album recommendation or warning and I'm happy to do another recommendation. Though I suppose I should do a warning every now and then too. I should find some music I really fucking hate. Anyway, so this uh, recommendation, the band is The Order of Israfel. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It's spelled I-S-R-A-F-E-L. I'll put their name in the description, as I always do. Uh, so The Order of Israfel, the, band, uh, the album is Red Robes. It is a doom metal band from Sweden. So if you like doom metal, uh, you'll definitely like this. Also, after listening to this, you can clearly tell how heavily influenced they are by Black Sabbath. Like, seriously, big time. Uh... From vocals to riffs, it just sounds very Black Sabbath-y. It depends where you are in the world, but for me this album was quite pricey because it was an import, so uh, if you do come across it, you should pick it up. I've never heard of this band until uh, yeah, I picked it up a couple weeks ago. It just happened to randomly be in the Sunset Records here in my town. So uh, yeah, definitely check it out. Order of Israfel, Red Robes. I think you guys will really like it. So that's it for today's video. If you like what you saw, don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment, and check out my past videos while you're at it. If you want to keep up with me on a more daily basis, you can follow me on Instagram. I'll be putting my Instagram name in the description section, as I always do. So, thank you very much for watching, guys, and stay brutal.